Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the DCO Sourcecast. I am, of course, Trex, and alongside me is Super Patriot. What's going on, everybody? And Vagrant Gaming. What's up? A little anticlimactic. I was like, a sub? I mean, make it. Sup? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a chill mood tonight, you know? You, you chill. I think, I think we got one of the best things to talk about tonight, in my opinion. Maybe yeah. Soups would agree. Not sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, he agrees. Two great, two awesome things. Two awesome <laughs> things to talk about tonight. I wanted to see if you would be excited for this. Oh, I'm so glad that you uh, are. Dude, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Look who you're talking to. <laughs> right? This this update is for y'all. It's Most of the time, it's for me and half of Vagrant, but this time, it's all Super Patriot and all Vagrant. So this is all for you two. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's some there's some PV stuff in there. I mean, there's some uh, changes. Yeah, now and, since uh, now since they released a little update today. Not just that, but I mean, there's <laughs> other stuff too that you know was originally released on test that you know you can uh, grouse about. Grouse about? I surely, I, I surely uh, will <laughs> try at least. So, uh, as we start the show, uh, Sir Patriot, how was your week? Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. I probably had uh, a rare thing for me, running the uh, alerts and everything. You know, usually it's just, you know, I get just get nothing but marks out of them and everything. But, uh, you know, working on my alts and everything, getting them caught up to my main, gear-wise at least. And uh, took my troller through the alerts. Normally I just get, like, nothing, whenever I'm doing that, trying to gear up my alts, I get, like, nothing but, uh, you know, marks for them, you know? Right. But I took my troll through the uh, two new uh, Tier 6 alerts, you know, Intergain and Breach, and got five gear drops out of the, those alerts. That you can wear. That I could, that I could, you know, attune to controller and put on my guy. Bumped his, bit, after I got done modding, bumped his bit up 300. Well, geez. And then I was able, and then I took him in and I solo trolled Necro. Woohoo! How was that? That was, I was, well, it was, it was, it was awesome. It was <laughs> awesome. I was, you know, I was, I was kind of proud of myself. I was able to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, tells me that, that there's absolutely nothing wrong with Quantum. I don't know why everybody's upset. I love Quantum. So uh, needs to re yeah, quantum is fantastic for trolling. <laughs> for trolling, <laughs> yeah. Every, everybody out, everybody out there is complaining about. All right, I got per an excellent solution for you quantum players out there. You complain about the DPS. Uh, push T on your keyboards or press up on your D pad and go to switch role and <laughs> just just troll. <laughs> seriously, seriously, quantum is probably. Seriously. I don't know. They, Vagrant, Vagrant, I don't know, you get your opinion. I mean, you know, we, know, we know Trex loves, loves Quantum. But Quantum is probably the best controlling power for PvE in the game. My opinion. Mental is close to it, too. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played. We're kind of on the same, yeah. just because you know, they have the, the thing shield. Is the, yeah, but you know what You know what beats out? You know, what, you know why Quantum beats Mental out for me? Quantum tunneling. <laughs> Hands down. But Grand, Hands Grand down. Duer does the same thing. It just doesn't push you forward. Yeah, it doesn't get you out of that AOE effect that's about ready to burn you to death. <laughs> <laughs> but but it can like you know get you up if you're countered or anything like that yes. immediately. Yes. <laughs> Which uh, isn't a problem but, anymore because you can just uh, break out of it. Yeah, you can just break out now. So vagrant, kind how? Makes those, oh, sorry. Kind of makes those PVE trinkets. Kind of makes those PVE breakout trinkets kind of irrelevant. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I mean it's it's kind of funny because I've said this before. Um, sometimes their updates just kind of like, uh, you know, counteracts a previous update. <laughs> yeah. Which is just I've always noticed kind that of too. contradictory. <laughs> So, Vagrant, how has your week been? Pretty good. Uh, got on, uh, started playing a little more, actually, because uh, I was on a little bit of a slump. I'm sure everyone gets that every now and then. Gasp. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I play but, like uh, five yeah, different uh, games a week. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I run uh, most or yeah, every single tier six alert one day was really fun. Ran all the tier fives as well. Was just on having a blast. Pretty good day. Pretty good. 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 Uh, I have to say, I'm going to bring this up first because it was linked to me. It was first tweeted to me, and Super Patriot linked it as well. Uh, apparently, getting trexed is a thing. If you get trexed, that means that you got kicked from a group and you didn't see it coming. For no reason. For no, no reason. reason. <laughs> For no apparent reason. So, so Dark Horus out there. Uh, I'm uh, should I feel so I say I'm sorry you got trexed or should I like yay I, I, I'm not sure how to feel about this I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be smiling or or sad I just don't know you want to be sad okay That's we're... Not something you want to have <laughs> <laughs> see honestly wish they got trexed I, see now I just don't know it, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think they feel a little bit sorry for it. <laughs> uh, there will be justice for Trex one day, though. One, one day. Okay, well, just, just my, my next story isn't going to be that justice, I can tell you that. So, I, <laughs> so on, I think it was Wednesday, maybe it might have been Wednesday, during my normal DCUO stream, I, uh, may have been Monday, I don't know, but I was streaming DCUO, and I was like, you know what, for... For, for kicks, let me go ahead and switch to an alt, and we're going to work on an alt. I was like, all right, we're going to work on an alt, sweet. So I went to my electric healer, and I'm like, okay, he needs some. He needs a little bit of love. Let's go, electric tricks. And I get into Smallville. One, I'm not really a big fan of Smallville anymore. I'm quite tired of it, but anyways. So I get into this, I get into the instance with a foot with a nice group, with a tank, controller, and a DPS. I'm like, sweet. Well... I asked the gun. Uh, we we start the first pull, and of course the DPS is like killing everything in one shot. So I'm like, oh, okay, he's overgeared for this, but whatever. But I'm still doing my job. I'm still healing. I'm doing my what my role says. And all of a sudden, I ran out of power. I'm like, um, type type in chat, and I have video evidence. Uh, controller, can I get a little pot here? Can I get a little instant power? Let's let's can we can we get some over here? And nothing. No communication. I even whispered him, saying, like, hey, can, can we get some POT? Do, do you need any help knowing what that move is? I, I will assist you. I have no problem with this. <laughs> Nothing. No communicado. No communicado. So I was like, okay, well, this is going to get a little rough. And then, of course, the tank, the tank dies. Tank doesn't say anything when he dies. I'm just like, oh, well, the tank dies. I, I'm talking to myself at this point. I'm like, well, the tank died. I ain't got no power. It's not my fault he died. So we get to the first boss, and of course the overgeared DPS burns him down. I'm like, great. And I ask again as we are going to the second boss, like, look, do you need any help controlling? No communicado again. So like, you know what? Fine. I am going to I type out this nice message about why I'm leaving. No hard feelings, but no communication from the controller. I'm done. I don't want to be here. Excuse myself from the instance. Nobody voted. Except the DPS. And the DPS voted no. I'm like, um, thanks for being nice about this, but literally, I'd rather be excused. I don't want to be here. I'm not able to do my job. The DPS comes in. It's okay. I'm tier six. It's going to be a breeze. I literally type in, I'm not here to get carried. I'm here to do my job. I don't want to be carried. I'm here to heal. I can't heal because the controller won't give out power. Even the, even he's at power, and he won't even give himself power. How? I'm. I. I, I just want to go. I just want to go. I don't want to get deserter because I want to leave peacefully. You guys can find someone else. He's like, dude, look, it's gonna be okay. You don't need to worry about this. This is a tank and spank. You, just, just, just. Ex- the guy's, the guy's basically like. Shh. Right? That's exactly what he's doing. If he was, if, if he was, bes- exactly. I'm not gonna. That's, that's exactly what was happening. He was just like, just go with it every time you tried to talk, Trex. I yeah. That's exactly how I felt, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna leave and take the Zerter, and 
and, and he, I can't remember exactly what he said. I have to look at my footage again. But he 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 said onto the lines of, "This is how the game is played. Just accept the carry and let's get this done." I left so fast, and what, I was. What tune were you on again? I was on my electric healer in Smallville, which, by the way, I'm over. I don't need to do Smallville. I did it just so I can get my marks, so I can get to the next, my next tier. I, I don't like Smallville. I don't need anything in there besides the stuff I knew I should have just left out of it. I hate Smallville. But I, I, I no, it wouldn't. Leave. So I had, I had to accept a ten minute deserter because a guy would not. Because one, one player wouldn't communicate. And the other one refused to let me go because he just wanted to carry. And I was not there for that. So, I left. This this was what you need to do, folks. If you are there to do your job, do your job. Heal, control, DPS, whatever. If But if someone's not, if, if someone's hindering you from doing what you want to do from your job, like the controller's not giving out power, and someone's saying, look, it's going to be okay, I'm tier 6, we're going to blow through this. No. Leave. Ask to be excused, and and I, I, I hate to say this, but take the deserter. I had to take a 10 minute deserter because some guy would not let me play my role. And I was not going to feed into his elitism. I was not going to. If I would have stayed and left it... I don't it, know if you would really call it elitism, though, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with to you support right his now. carry. I wouldn't yeah, support his carry. Should, everybody, everybody, should, everybody should be able to play their role. I completely agree with you on that. But I actually had a discussion with uh, some of my league mates the other day. We were running um, Breach, and we were doing the uh, Wrecker boss. You know, and that... That boss is not difficult at all. Yeah, I mean, that 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 alert itself is not overly difficult, especially once you understand, once you figure out the mechanics or mantis. That alert is not difficult at all. You can get that. Done. It's just time consuming, you know. And I was sitting there and I was, I was trolling it, and I just kind of sat there and I was in the middle of trolling it, and everybody was just kind of quiet. Nobody was really talking or anything, and I just like just like blurted out the, the guys in the group I was like do you guys remember when these alerts used to be hard like which alerts <laughs> like you know like like you know like uh you know Smallville you know I mean I remember I remember <sighs> when uh small you know running Smallville I mean you used to not be able to really be able to beat that especially get the speed feed yeah unless you Strikers. unless you skipped over unless you skipped over all the ads Strikers back in the day. Strikers oh, God, back yeah. in the day was hard and all that. I mean, so, uh, not that I'm taking this guy's side on the whole, you know, that's just the way the game is now. I'm not taking his side. But, I mean, that is kind of the way the game is now. You know, I mean, you know, and most of, half the time, you know, it's an overpowered, you know, overgeared player. Um, uh you know, it happens, you know, you, you're lucky enough to have an overgeared player, you know, queue in to one of those lower tiered instances with you, and they basically just backpack everybody through the through the entire instance. Agreed. I'm not saying it's right, and I'm oh, not yeah. saying, you know, it's ideal or the best way for people to learn how to play the game, but I mean, that's kind of the way it is right now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if there was uh, uh, some kind of a uh, you know, I don't know, a limit or a restriction on, uh, well, you can't queue into a lower tiered instance without a full group or something. Like I mean, if we could walk into these things, it'd be a lot better. I mean, if we could, like, walk in, say, like, there's a collection in Area 51 that I still needed to get from my main, you know, and, you know, I, you know, instead of, you know, queuing up for it and waiting for, you know, a couple, you know, like, 14s or 15s to uh, queue up for it as well. Uh, as they're leveling up, and then um, you know, going in there and you know just like blowing through the whole thing, and those guys are learning absolutely nothing about tanking, controlling, or healing, exactly, um, or even DPSing. Uh, you know, maybe you know make it so we can actually walk into Area Fifty One, walk into Smallville. You know, I mean, we can walk into some of the other alerts like Strikers and Arkham and everything. But, you know, Actually, be, be, maybe there's be, probably... 
<laughs> go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, no, you, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. All right. Well, I was going to say, we already see that they have the technology to make our characters have set stats. Because it's coming in game update 41 with the stat threshold that you are given if you don't have any PvP gear. Why don't they just make heroics? For, for older Dune? content. Do you, do you think the game's been around long enough for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, a, a heroic mode is something that World of Warcraft has. Shrex already knows the term. I don't want to go back a in. Heroic, a heroic mode <laughs> is basically... I refuse. Like, <laughs> But basically, it would they could make it to where you had lower stats that made sense for that combat rating of that instance... That way, that instance is always hard. But then you could always have it to where you could... If you wanted to walk in and blow through it, then you could. You could still have that option. But if they had, like, a heroic mode or whatever they wanted to call it, then they could, you know, give extra rewards for, you know, making it to where if you wanted to always have a challenge with it, you would get something extra or something like that. Yeah. Oh, look, leaks. They're working on something similar. Oh, look, leaks. Yay. Thank you, Maps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we already yeah. kind of saw that when they leaked the four-man Nexus. That's true. As an alert or something like that. He said that that wasn't ready, but it was like... I don't remember what he said specifically, but it was along the lines of like kind of what I was going at. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and move on into Friday Night Legends Recap. So we are on the EU PlayStation tonight with a player-run tournament. I remember I remember seeing some player-run tournaments. What happened to those? Soups? I've been, I've been waiting for this update so we can do it. Call me out, sir. <laughs> Daddy is not here for me to call him out. I ran three of those player-run tournaments already in the past, and the uh, fourth one is coming. Uh, as soon as um, you know, everything comes out with this update, and we are uh, sure on things being stable. I know one thing that uh, they talked about, like uh, you know, some things you know, I have, I have to restrict some things from these tournaments. You know, like <laughs> people you know don't like berserk, you know. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, I know Tunso, I believe, said somewhere, somebody quoted Tunso to me today saying that uh, they were looking at Berserk for PvP and toning it down, which I think is a good idea. Yeah. Because honestly, honestly, that supercharge is working as advertised. It's just, like, freaking way overpowered. It's, like, super <laughs> overpowered for PvP. Yeah, you can one-shot a whole group. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's awesome. <laughs> It's awesome, but there should never be anything in a game that lets you wipe a whole team. Yeah, but you should see it in open world, though, man. It's glorious. <laughs> it, it would be fine in open world, just in arenas, like, tone it down. Yeah, in, yeah, tone it down in open world. In, <laughs> yeah, in arenas. But, uh, yeah, it's glorious, man, especially when you're raiding a nightclub, you know, and, you know, the villains start coming out in force. And, you know, you're starting to get overrun a little bit. So, you know, you're just like, should I do it? And, you know, everybody in your group's like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. All right. Well, this player run event was on the EU PlayStation. And it was actually, it went really well. Uh, I believe it was the chairwoman from the Bedlam Brothers, I think? Yes. Yes. The chairwoman. A very powerful name. Why couldn't you come up with such a powerful name, Soups? Uh, because I don't normally, my, I don't main a female tune <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> on the game like this guy does. <laughs> that's okay. I, I was like a chairwoman. Ooh, that's a strong, very strong name for a character. Never thought of it being a superhero name either. Or a villain. Never. Well, villain maybe because, you know, women are evil. Whew. <laughs> oh, that chairwoman's right there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All in good fun. So, uh, great job running the tournament. Uh, very nice. You, I, I will have to say this, because I do want to bring this up, and it was always a thought in my head that when you were running your player run event soups, that 
we they had they had chairwoman in the scrimmages along with Meps and I mean even though Meps and Tunzo were always were always doing the play by play which brain job by the way gentlemen uh and then it was after the match here chairwoman came in with some great comment uh, great commentary great analysis in which I feel that nudge nudge it needs to kind of happen with you know I know, right? <laughs> you, know, I'm, you know, and the thing is, I'm, you know, I'm kind of, uh, uh, kind of missed by that. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's cool. It's cool they brought him in. It's cool they brought him in. The thing is, I mean, they did bring me into those matches at one point. You know, on one FNL, they did bring me those matches at one point. But apparently, I was stepping on spittle, <laughs> and they stopped doing it. <laughs> So what you're saying, <laughs> what you're saying is you're you're stealing the spotlight from Spittle. That's what you're saying. Know. I don't know. I guess I, I I don't know if that was the case or not. But I mean, <laughs> kind of I was a little little, little uh, put out by that. But anyways, I don't know what Matt was talking about. Hopefully though, hopefully though, you know, I don't know. I don't know where I don't know where Spittle's been at. I mean, other than playing Destiny, <laughs> which I need to check, which other I, I need to check Twitter to see if he's playing on our time slot again or not. No, no. Yeah. Well, is he? <laughs> Wait, no. I didn't get the email saying he was live because I do follow him on on Twitch. But uh, no, I did not get that email, so he's not online. Um, How many monitors do you need? What? I'm just what? not looking at your Twitter. You got like four <laughs> monitors, dude. Okay, let's let's also break this down here, okay? I have three monitors and a laptop. That's what's going on in my setup right now. I have three monitors and a laptop. Also remember, three monitors, a laptop, and two PCs. I, I mean, I've... <laughs> there is like a... As, as my buddy CBB said, I have like the whole command center in this office. That I can control the world. I am anonymous. No, I'm just joking. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> but no, but Spill, but Spill was, uh, was streaming last night on the PC test. Uh, he was running with Geoforce. Shout out to Geoforce. Uh, he was also running with... Oh, crap. I saw him last night, and I, I think I even waved. Uh, I see him on the forums a lot. Uh, Dreadlock. Yes. Dreadlock was... Uh, he was playing with Dreadlock as well and some other people, just doing some scrimmages. So, uh, see, see he, was, he was on DC last night. He was. I know he was. I know he was. Okay. But yeah, he say <laughs> last week, you know, he started, you know, playing streaming Destiny. Right oh boy, has he? Source cast. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. But don't worry, he'll be he'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> so be sure to tune in to Friday Night Legends every Friday night, uh, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 uh, to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That would also be 7 to 8 on the East Coast. The best coast. The coastest with the mostest. I did it. Don't hate me. I did it. <laughs> help, sir. I do. <laughs> uh, next week is not... It's not a week I even know about, so I'm not sure what next week holds. Ooh. Can't wait to see. I wonder. So uh, be sure to tune into FNL every Friday night. Next week is going to be a new episode. And it's going to be maps, of course. Maybe we get to see Spittle. Maybe we get a new special guest. Ooh, special guests. I'm hoping for some Sport. Because everyone wants a little Sport interaction. I'm not sure how that came out. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Sport on there. I'd like to see Locke on there again. Locke, too? Oh, guy. oh yeah. Locke. Yeah. Locke is uh, seriously, folks, if you ever get a chance to go to SOE Live, definitely full lock aside, have a conversation with the man. The dude's awesome. I like I like Nerd of Prey. Oh, SJ is yeah, great. Nerd, SJ's but, cool, too. SJ yeah. is really cool. I like SJ. She's really cool. See, see, Vega, like you and I can sit down with SJ and just talk stories all day with her. And then Supes would just be on <laughs> Locke's ear the entire time until someone comes up and says, hey, you were a developer on Star Wars Galaxies, right? And Locke will just turn, yes, I was. And just go straight into that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hear really cool stories about Star Wars Galaxies. Oh, apparently Locke is next week. And, and apparently, according to Ooh. maps, if you watched FNL, you'd know that. 
my apologies. I was not I was not listening for the last two minutes of the show because I was putting headphones on. I apologize, as as, sir. <laughs> as soon as it sounds like they're about to end, I'm like, all right, let me get ready. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like we missed like the last five minutes. <laughs> my bad, Maps. If we're trying to prepare. For you, right? <laughs> and we still took an extra ten minutes trying to get live. <laughs> it's how we roll. So, all right. So tonight is a very special night because Super Patriot, Vagrant, and myself are on the PC test, and we are going to go through this update with a fine to- with a fine. It's going. to... What's the phrase I'm looking for here? Fine tooth comb. Yes, but I was going to say pick because I'm black. We're we're gonna we're gonna comb the Whoa. desert. Whoa. You said comb, you said comb <laughs> the desert, so we're combing the desert. <laughs> yes! Space balls! <laughs> Not anything? No, sir. What about you? We ain't found shit. <laughs> you know what's cool? What's cool? I can't freaking buy the 98 PvP gear because it doesn't show up on the vendor. That's, uh, that's awesome. Yes, you should be able to. Nope, I'm in uh, full yeah, 97. You get, you get, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's there. A PvP weapon. Yeah, it doesn't right. show up. Do you have? Do you have? Do you have both? You have two rings, the neck. I've gone over this a thousand times with people. Right. <laughs> I have the neck. I have full logistics officer. I'm about. I'm about to embarrass him because I'm hopping on my PvP tune right now, and. I have the 98 <laughs> pistols. I'm able to get the 98 pistols. But the punchline does not show up for me. Well, you're on the villain side. That's your problem. You're on the hero side. <laughs> <laughs> Why even have a villain side if everyone's going to be like that? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, 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 <laughs> you would get more out of a DLC if, if there was not a villain side. I, I'm coming to villain side. I'm coming to villain side. Oh, apparently I was disconnected because normal exit from game to character select. Please select game. What? <laughs> that was weird. Oh. I'm getting like this weird disconnect. Luckily, it's being recorded and Meps is looking at it. Meps, look at my screen. Look, look, look. I don't know what this is. Apparently, me switching good characters. Good thing we have a link death. Right? Okay, I am... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is... It's back. It's literally refusing to kick me out of the game. <laughs> no more exit from game. Please exit the game and relaunch. I'm hitting the exit button. Why do you hate me? There, it's close. Find more crap. See if it changes anything. No, no, no. I'm coming. I'm coming. Because, because I definitely looked at it last night when I was on my character. But, yep, Please I report that bug, cool. Mips. You're in the office. This is live. <laughs> <laughs> Trex can't Where's even get Trex from that? the game. What is that? Where's the PvP utility belts? Are no utility belts anymore because there's no, there's no reason to use them. <laughs> That's very there's true. No reason to use them. Why would you use them? Because we have we have we have no uh, um, DPS trinkets or tank trinkets anymore. You, can't you take have the breakout PvP trinket, trinkets. and then you also have the Soder Color Infinite. Yeah, you, that's all you two you need. Yep, that's it. That's so it. So that's why you would need a utility school. belt. That's PvP. No, 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 remember, no, there's a slot for trinket, sodas no, and a slot for trinket. In, put the trinket in the trinket slot and the soda in the soda slot, and that's it. It's old school, Vagrant. <laughs> what do you mean, ooh? <laughs> <laughs> it's common knowledge. Right. right? That could be why the freaking thing doesn't show up. There we go. Is that a utility belt equipped? Okay, Maps, okay, I will definitely go to the forums and I will post this. I'll even cut this out and make a little highlight as soon as I figure out, like, the time code. But, yeah, I will go through this, find it, and I will post it onto the forum so the guys in your office can <laughs> can see it. Trex, inspect me. ASAP. I don't even know where you are. I'm in the Metawing. Okay, I'm coming to the Metawing. Why am I using my keyboard when I have a controller? All right, I forgot where the. Don't whisper to yourself. Uh, there's the metal wing. <laughs> All right, I'm coming out of the pit. I'm coming to you. 
All right, uh, I am right beside the vendors. I'm right beside the vendors where uh, that stuff is. So you want to know what shows up for me in this vendor right here? What shows up in your vendor? Soda Cola Infinite, the mods, Wingman, and Metal Trinket. So you're not looking at the Twisted Physician wraps that I'm and the chat are looking at. <laughs> no. Like, inspect me right now. Oh, man, that's like a whole privacy thing. I don't. I do Definitely not not. want. I don't want to disrupt your privacy, sir. I, I do not. I want you. I'm to... giving you. I'm giving you permission. Okay. What am I looking at? Logistics officer stuff. Yeah. See how I have full 97, and even a 98 weapon, and it's not showing up. Um. I'm wearing full adaptive android, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you need to have full adaptive I know, Android. I know you are. Where that I have the feet for getting full <laughs> adaptive Android, so I don't know why it like erased my PVP progression. Anyways, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll just need to start a new character. No, no, God, no! Don't do that, sir. Don't do that. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. But I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm looking. Hey. Hey, Brittany, he's in the chat. Oh, I see her. Hello. So, he has a utility belt. Calm down, Grid. All right, so, while Vagrant tries to find himself in his PvP stuff, I have no idea what's wrong, buddy. All right, seriously. Yeah, you, inspect you inspected me and saw that I have full 97 and even have a 98. Well, what's your CR? What's your, not showing up. what's your CR? 97. Which is hilarious, how I can buy the 98 weapon, but I can't buy the the armor. Uh, Soups, I don't know what to tell him. Alright, your gear, you got, okay, you got the 98 weapon, okay? Yes, yeah, Soups, come to villain the side. Okay, Here, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on a new tune. I'm gonna get on a new tune and see what happens. That's so much work! Do it all well, this is called the, bug fixing, all right? You got, okay. the, you got the neck, you've got the neck, you've got the face, you've got two rings, and the trinket. Yep. And, yep. and a full set, including the weapon. Ooh, even I got yep. a utility belt. Don't need it, but I got it. You know. Uh, Michael Grid, there is no utility belt anymore. I checked the vendors just a few moments ago. There is no PvP utility belt anymore. Yep, there's not. Nope. There is not. Because it would be right here, near the rings, near the trinket. The current max PvP level CR is 100. Yes. Ha ha. The current max amount of marks you can carry is 6250. Yes. Alright. Let me scroll down. Let's do this again. <laughs> All right, well, Vagrant finds himself. Let's go over the test notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so starting off with the highlights, the Witching Hour has returned. The Halloween events. <laughs> I'm funny. So I'm actually switching back to my hero because I already know where everything is. So uh, the Witching Hour comes back for the year of 2014. Uh, it brings new base items Two new feats and new styles. So yay, new styles. Um, and you also still have your daily quest uh, in Gotham to do all that stuff there, and you also get the event to go fight the emo boy. And yeah, that's what everybody calls me. Yeah, the emo pilgrim. Emo pilgrim. Mur -mur 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 -mur. So, let me head over here to the vendor, and we'll take a look at all the neat stuff. As soon as the vendor works for me. There he goes. You at right. the PvP vendor right now? Which vendor are you at? You're <laughs> at the... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Continue. Okay. Uh, so, over here in the... P in the I'm going to say PvP all the whole time. Over here in your spooky... Boo, 
what is this thing called again? This oh Skeets Boutique. Skeets Boutique. We got Mrs. and Mr. Boo still for sale. Uh, DCO does not support child uh, child buying, so uh, that's why you get Boo Jr. in the actual event. You will not. He's not on the vendor at least for this year. Uh, so these are the new masks that people were really talking about. So let's take a look real fast. We got the Joker mask. Nice little Halloween mask. You got the Cersei mask, which I really do believe there needs to be like a zoom-in function sooner or later. Uh, the most incredible Batman mask that everybody has been wanting. It's here, the, folks. The, the, bat, the, bat, the, the Batman-inspired Halloween mask? Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Good. Yes. Good phrasing. Good phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't want to confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got the Batman inspired mask, the Halloween inspired mask. Come on. <laughs> so this right here is what um, uh, Balkan has been wanting forever. So now he finally gets it. Uh, you got well, the Balkan super. On oh, one tune. The, uh, yeah. Not everywhere else. <laughs> so you got the Superman mask. You've got the Wonder Woman mask. And then finally the Lex Luthor mask. Which with my hairstyle kind of looks like uh, Dean Venture a little bit. It feels older. Because I got like that pompadour small thing poking out of the top of the mask. So it's like the mask has hair. So Lex Luthor has hair. Look at there. Uh, as usual, you get your fire your fire beetles, these nice little consumables. Uh, the skeleton mask, shirt, and pants for the feet. Same as last year. Uh, the pumpkin head, the jute shirt, and jute pants. Same as the uh, as the feats for last year. You can still get those feats. They are classified as the 2013 feats, but you can still get them. Uh, your Eerie Jacks, your Crotian stuff. So, and when you look at your... Thank you. Didn't we have trouble with that? Didn't I have trouble with that last year? I had trouble with that every day. You're gonna <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where Croatia is. Croatia is not something I use on a daily well, basis. Croatia, Croatia is actually not too far from where Balkan is from. I thought Croatia is near uh, Greece. But Croatia, Cro no, Croatia. It, well, it's north of Greece. Croatia is on the opposite side of the Adriatic Sea from uh, Italy. Look at Mister Geographic over here. I've been there. Oh, <laughs> well, that's why. What when CNN when CNN reports from Croatia and then the Daily Show makes fun of that CNN report, then I'll know where Croatia is. Um. <laughs> I have my standards for news reporting. So, uh, when you look at the uh, the base items, they are actually now classified for the Witching Hour 2013. So you know which are the, which ones you possibly got last year, or if you want them more. And when you scroll down to the where is it? I think it's the uh, cloth draped. Uh, the cloth draped couch is a new one, and it's for the Witching Hour 2014. So we have a uh, cloth draped couch. Fine wooden coffin, single candle wall sconce, some rusted pile of leaves that apparently people are not really happy with the leaves, but I don't know those people. I just saw it on these on the chat. Uh, the prank candy barrel, the haunted hotel curtains, the sealed stone coffin, the wrought iron chandelier, cloth draped chair, and a mounted werewolf head. This game loves its decapitation. Very violent. Mm -hmm. T for teen. Looking forward to those. I've got those mounted heads up in one of my layers, dude. Those I'm telling you, awesome. I'm not surprised. I can't wait to see all the Halloween-inspired late uh, league league halls. I cannot wait. Just one I big know, room. Just one, one big room. I know one member of my league. One member of my league is probably gonna go ape shit decorating one uh, area of our lair or area of our league hall. Good for Halloween. Good. So. Uh, okay, so this is actually a pretty cool thing that I can show you because, um, so your picture, are you on your hero? Uh, yes, sir, I am. Are you in the watchtower? Oh, yes, sir, I am. Okay. So, let's go to the watchtower. I'm getting, I'm getting R&D mods for my PvP here. Uh, which wing are you in? I am heading towards the Hall of Heroes. 
Okay, I was going to the meta wing. Supposed to be able to just buy ninety seven gear right off the bat. No. Uh yes. It's test server. Yes, you should be able to. Well, okay, so there's ninety six gear, which I bought the full set of, and Man. then I bought the ninety seven gear, but the ninety seven gear is available from from right off the bat. You don't have to collect the ninety six gear first like you're supposed to. Hmm. That might be what's glitching me, because I it just might be. did it all again, and it did not let me, still. And I'm in full 97 gear. Maybe I have to have the full 96 gear in my inventory still? Which, that's really not the way it should work. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm on my villain and my hero are both wearing the full android stuff from the last season, and I can see it. And there I'm wearing it. Find, finding bugs. There you go. So, I'm over here standing in front of Super Patriot to the Link Death. Let's talk about Link Death. It's back. It's good. it's a lot further along than when Link Death first came out. So, uh, Link Death will now allow players a 10 minute grace period to log back into the game where they left if they disconnected from the game. And there's two... Uh, they have the 10 minute Link Death, which is an ungraceful disconnect from the game which is a network disconnection, power disconnection, PS4 button, then close application, PS3 button, and quit, the X on the top left of your PC window client, a client a client crash, or a, zo a server zone crash. Okay? You really just wanted to be in front of the camera, didn't you? I'm showing off the new PvP style, man. Okay. I'll out. Uh, looks nice. <laughs> Looks badass on me, dude. <laughs> State the compliment. <laughs> I make this look good. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so with a link death uh, for for PC wise, uh, when we hit the top, when we hit when I hit the X up top, it's going to give me the link death. And so I'm standing here in front of your Patriot. When I hit link death, and sadly I can't do it because I'm not in window mode. Uh, I hit the link death. I just get disconnected, and then I'm going to come back within that 10 minutes, and I'll be standing right here in the same spot, and my character will have, like, this Link Dead name. So, let's... I'll actually... Let me get out of full screen. I'm actually coming to go do that. All right. For you. Yo, you've got, you've got to get the hush gear so we can meet up in open world, and we can show off both the styles. Yes. Side by side. I, I can't. Have not seen it the will, it yet. will not let me. It will not let him. Any of your tunes? It will not let me. Nope. I have no the idea villain, why. Villain PvP gear is glitched. <laughs> basically, what you're saying. That's basically it. All right. Maybe I'm not sure, but Trex has the full surgical gear, doesn't he? I do not. I can see it. I just haven't bought it because the the. Uh, the Valor points yeah, see, were I can't glitched. Even get, I can't even get the adaptive Android gear. It doesn't. It doesn't show up in the vendor for me. But it show it. The ninety set. The ninety eight weapons, which are blue, show up for me. True. So, okay. Where uh, are you guys, by the way? <laughs> uh, Hall of Power. PVP. Yeah. Hall of Heroes. Whatever. Uh, PVP gear. Whatever. PVP vendor. PVP phase or PVE. PVE. All right. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to close my client real fast, and I always come back in, but you'll, they'll see where the link is on the character screen for me. So I hit my X. Uh, so your picture, let me know when I actually have link dead. I actually want to know mm -hmm. how to see how fast it happens. Uh, yep, showing disconnected above your head right now. Neat. Neat. All right, so coming back. I'm a, okay, not that quick. I have, a ten, I have ten minutes. Ah, <laughs> be I like to see flash. The, I'm just, I'm just watching your, uh, your uh, soundboard there. Ah, <laughs> stop that! <laughs> do you know how hard it is to edit you when you do that? <laughs> you don't have to edit me. It's all part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming. It takes a moment. Silly clients. 
So, uh, and that's when you have, and that's going to be the same. This is this is how you get the ten minute uh, link dead. So go to your character screen once it loads up and everything. And go see, if, go see if you can get the, the night wing gear here. Oh, there it is, right there above your level. Oh, is going to say link dead here on this. So nothing shows up on the spender. Right there. All right. So uh, when you're on the link dead. You cannot. You shouldn't be able to log into any other character until you go back into your Link Dead character. Yeah, you must log back into the game with the Link Dead character before logging into any other character. So, you come back in. Hopefully, it disconnects. Gone. But really cool thing about with the Link Dead now is that a player can be rallied and a player can be attacked. Well, okay, it's actually not a cool thing. It's a cool thing for one, a bad Maybe thing not. for another. <laughs> I mean, you can be rallied, though. So. Seriously, where's, where's Vayner at? He's not here yet? I went to go get the other... Uh, oh. I'm looking right now, <laughs> and I have... I have no PvP gear on. My PvP right. combat rating on this character is zero. It's non-existent. Right. right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's non-existent. Gotcha. But I'm able to buy 97 right off the bat, but 96 is right underneath it. That should not be the case. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's that the exact. It was the exact same way for me when I uh, went to get my gear. So right. what did you do first? Did you buy the first? Well, I, or did I, you buy I the bought, full 96? I bought the. I, I bought the, the the whatever gears at the top. I bought that first, not realizing that I shouldn't have been able to. <laughs> yeah, but for me, it just it doesn't show up. I have no idea why. When I uh, get the full 97, like you, like Trex inspected me, I have full 97 on my villain and a 98 huh. weapon. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and that's the 10 minute. There is now also a 10 second graceful exit, where a graceful disconnect from the game results in a 10 second link death. It only occurs if you are in combat. While trying to exit the game, and you chose to exit the game now, which is not cool, by the way. Uh, so on PC, you'll just hit your exit game, and while in combat, it's going to actually say cancel or disconnect now. It literally says disconnect. Or, Are you sure you want to be that guy and just disconnect? You do. Okay, just hit the button then. And then on PlayStation, using disconnect while in combat, uh, then selecting disconnect now. So you got a 10 minute and you got the 10 second link death. Which the 10 second is for combat, 10 minutes not for combat. Alright. By the way, <laughs> those are some really cool uh, Trigon's prison rewards right there. Right where? Oh, he's wearing. Oh, yeah, this guy's got the shirt on. That's Lock from Survival oh. Mode, guys. That's yeah. the new uh, Survival Mode that reward. Is, that or is at least one of them. Wow, that is an awesome shirt. Exactly. Wanted to uh, mention that to you people out there looking. Hey, let's beat him up and take it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, I want it? Look at all these attention thirsty people, man. Just... <laughs> oh, she's wearing it too. Look, they thirst. Moonlight. Oh, uh, yeah, Moonlight's wearing it too. And You're all thirsty. Blue, and green, red. Yeah, the nice. whole, the whole, the whole WID corporation's wearing it. <laughs> apparently, you can, apparently, you can uh, select the colors on them, which I think is cool. Thank God. Yeah, so you're not getting like a bronze. Or is it? I see me in Twitch. Hi, Twitch. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Big waves. All right, uh, so before we go into the PvP Season 3 stuff, let's knock out the other stuff. Uh, armory imprint options. Can I get a hell yeah? Oh, yeah, those things are awesome. That's not a hell yeah. <laughs> I was specifically <laughs> yeah. looking for... Thank you, Vagrant. Thank you. I, I was looking for the specific words. Come on, we're wrestling fans here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so with the I'm playing your reindeer game, sir. <laughs> hoops for no one. <laughs> Wapner, definitely Wapner. Uh, so 
with the armory imprint options, when you go to... Uh, screw it. Why am I even talking about it when I can easily just go to it? Go to base! Because apparently I have an... No, you cannot. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Probably not, because I my cooldown's like... Oh, it's already ready. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, so you go into your armory, and you will see an imprint menu. An activate menu. So you get an imprint menu. What can you do there? Well, you can imprint all, or just your imprints, the traits and loadouts, or the equipment. Choices for the activate menu. You select it. What can you do? You can activate them all, or just activate the appearance, or just the traits, or just the equipment. Can't bring down the board, the imaginary board that says the devs are listening. Yes to another freaking check. The devs are listening once again. Once again. Thank you, devs. Thank you. And thank you, community, for bringing it up to get it done. I, of course, we'll thank the community, too. But yes, armor and print options now. There you go. That is self-explanatory. I can't really go into further detail beside because it's self-explanatory. Uh, trade improvements. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll just work to the Hall of Doom. Here. Grab your hero. All right, so about the... Reminder. What's that? He has morality confusion. Just, remember, just, just a reminder, you're on, you're on your hero. You can't warp to the Hall of Doom. My apologies. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. My apologies. If I could, though, that's a bug. It's like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and warp to HQ. Whoa, this does not look like my home. This is... up. Oh, they're stable. Big... Big jump arounds on for Stable from Odyssey. He was streaming last night. Or, he was streaming Wednesday night. I do remember that. So, okay. Um, so I got wrecked over here earlier today, too. Oh. Well, Tess should be asleep. Uh, and <laughs> and and I, I, I guess congratulations to Scotland for deciding to be dependent and not independent. Oh, did, they, did the vote go through? Yeah, it, they are... No, uh... I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the Scotland is still part of the UK. They are still dependent. They are, yeah, they are not independent. So, yeah, Scotland decided. I don't. I mean, it, it was their vote. I, I guess congratulations. Either way, it was going to be a congratulations. Hey, congratulations for independence. Hey, congratulations for dependent. Like, I wouldn't want to leave mom either. I don't know what they're. I don't know what's going on over there. I saw the vote. And I'm like, well, good. Good luck. I was curious on who test on which way Tesseract was going to vote. I if it it's like, if it's like American politics, I just wouldn't ask. <laughs> so, uh, Super Patriot, trade with me. What am I trading? I have I no clue. Have to trade you. I don't have anything to trade either. I yes, I do. I got plenty. You. Okay, you can trade with me then. Okay, I'll trade with you. Okay, so con con congratulations. Yeah. All right. So uh, with the game update forty one, we made improvements to trade, and enforced a delay has been added to trades after all after the contents of the trade have changed before it can be accepted. Can someone put that in easier terminology for me? Uh, basically, basically, all right. <laughs> there, there used to be a way where people people could scam others. Okay. A trade, a trade scam thing. And it had to do with, you know, there was, like, a delay in showing the removal of items, I believe. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, people used for getting scammed. Okay. Trades. Well, here's my accept. Honestly, it seemed the same to me. Uh, yeah, it must be, like, something really on the back end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, loot notification improvements. Uh, loot it, that is acquired while obscured by a full screen UI will now be notified in the heads up display HUD uh, once that UI is closed. Additionally, the loot notification UI will now display up to three pieces of acquired loot at once. 
instead of it just scrolling on the top of your screen. Quality of life, folks. Quality of life improvement. I can dig it. I can dig it. Uh, and then PC only test. Guy Gardner's in legend now. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, if you guys yes. noticed too, if you guys noticed too, I forgot to mention this to uh, um, I can't, I can't post anything for some reason. Even though I've got all access, I can get on the test server. Uh, I cannot post on the test forums, test area, the forums there. Uh, somebody needs to post on there and let them know that Wonder Woman is not on the Legends vendor. And are you saying that because that's a bad thing? I'm She's saying that because to be. why is she not supposed to be? <laughs> She's marketplace only. Yeah, but I mean, no, on the test vendor here. Oh, got you. Yeah, yeah. She's not. I mean, you can't even you can't even select her for legends. Oh. That would be the same for the marketplace people too. So they need to make it to where you can get them on the test server. Well, you can get others from the marketplace on the test legends vendor. Like Cheetah. Oh, is it only Wonder Woman? Yeah. So you're saying she's the only one missing? I'm heading up there right now to video log it. Yeah, they probably only listen to the source cast and not really watch it, which they should I mean, watch. There's a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do so you. Why the Hall of Doom is better? Why is the Hall of Doom better? Has a Legends vendor right next to it. Just saying. They're in the same Just room. Saying. Yeah, they are. They're in the room, same here, room two. Oh, well. Ooh, yeah, see? Mm. So you're looking at the PvP vendor hero in the monitor room or actually down at the Legends kiosk? I'm talking about in the, the war room, but there's also one in the reactor core. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. That's the only Legends kiosk I ever know of was in there. She's not on here. No, you can't, you can't get any of the marketplace guys because Steel's not on here, Lex Luthor. They've been on here before, though. Mm. But yeah, they took them away. So they okay, so uh, need to be able put to them back. To test to yeah. Yeah, because we all need to test on how inefficient or how nerfed that she needs to be. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's fine. Right, but she did get changed in Le she did get changed in Legends, so we can't test her. Oh, that's right, she did. Amazonian right. deflection. Okay, so, uh, and I think this is actually the last, the last part to talk about before the PvP stuff is the advanced mechanic burst improvements. The burst improvements. Uh, Vagrant, why don't you knock these off if you have it open? I do not have it open. I just have your Twitch open. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, Bert. Okay. Over. Where are you at, real quick? Uh, I think like yeah, the advanced burst improvements. We'll come back over it's, here and uh, party with them. Okay. Ah, uh, advanced mechanic burst improvements. All right, starting with fire. I was very excited to see this. There you go. Um, the following improvements were implemented to improve fire's performance against weak enemies and those with low health. Uh. The volatility is now an effect that is applied to yourself rather than enemies and increases the damage of certain abilities. Vol certain abilities. Volatility only needs to be applied once and no longer needs to be stacked. This is good. Uh, Hell yeah. This is good. This is very <laughs> this is good. This is very good. Um, thermal absorption will restore power while you have volatility as well as against burning enemies. So, if they're burning, you'll get power back. If you know, you have volatility, and they're not burning. You get power back either or. Uh, having both, though, when you if you use volatility, obviously is ideal. Uh, reduce the uh, power cost, the base power cost of mass debt and fire bursts. Which is good. Yeah. Which is good thing. Uh, for nature, the following improvements were implemented to improve nature's performance against weak enemies with low health. Uh, Savage Growth now applies a knockdown to multiple enemies in an AoE radius rather than one enemy in front of you. Briar, in Makes addition sense. to his 
In addition to its existing effects, Briar now also stuns and causes a small amount of damage instantly in a radius around the target. So it's an AoE now, not just a single target. Uh, enemies you. not yet afflicted with poison spores from Briar take significant damage if Briar triggers the power refund mechanic. So basically, that says here, uh, enemies not yet afflicted with poison spores from Briar take a so you go from Briar straight into uh, let's say like Vine Lash. Did you say? Yeah. Or if you go no, if you go Vine Lash into Briar and all that, you get a power back. For that correct? I believe that's the one. Yeah. Um, harvest, in addition to its existing effects. Uh, Harvest now also stuns enemies in a radius around the target. Electricity. The following improvements were implemented to improve electricity's performance against weak enemies with low health. Uh, one second. Electroburst now. One second. Uh, 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 I, I, no, I'm actually on my electric tune because this question came up when, uh, when you were going in it. And why is it taking so long to queue into a challenge? Thank you. For the love of God. <laughs> but I'm actually going to. Uh, I got this part if you don't mind. Okay. Um, uh, for the Electric Burst, now applies a knockdown to multiple enemies in an AoE radius rather than one enemy in front of you. Just like with that in Savage Growth, I never understood why it only hit the one enemy. It looked it looked like an AoE. It should feel like an AoE. So kudos, devs. Kudos. So the one I want to show off is Arc Lightning. So Arc Lightning now stuns as it courses through enemies. Enemies not yet inflicted with electrified or electric charged power interactions take additional damage if Arc Lightning triggers the power refund mechanic. So, I'll start this off in DPS. Let the same go through. So, if you're asking yourself, does the stun work in healer roll? It does. And if you want video proof, Arc Lightning, look at that. Oh, well, you guys will see in just a moment. But yes, it will. It will stun. <laughs> it will stun five enemies. You still get the heal, and they also get on. They also. Uh, well, I thought they catch on fire, and that might be my. That might be the mobs themselves. But yeah, it does stun. Take extra damage when the power interaction comes in, or when you get the power refund mechanic. But yeah, I found that really sweet. So electric healers. We'll be doing a little healing with Arc Lightning, and it will stun the mobs as well. So yay to you guys, if, if, if that's your thing. I'm not sure. For me, I absolutely love it. I could spam that's it. all around. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so I'll let you go into... We may want to scroll down to the last page for Light, because Light actually came on today. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, the light changes came yeah, in today. There a, yeah, there was a new build put on the test server about an hour before FNL, they said, so. Like two builds today. Yeah. I'm going to switch my All characters right. back. Uh, so you want me to not talk about the light? You want me to go down to the bottom? Um, I guess we can talk about this. I guess we can talk about this part. I, I, don't, I, I didn't take a good hard look at what's at the bottom to see how in-depth it goes. Yeah, okay, they, they, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. They didn't, post, they didn't post the light changes. Well, they did somewhat. No, they did, it's down at the bottom, but it's the same, it's okay. literally copy and paste. So we can read it from yeah, the top. So, okay, so, so yeah, light, uh, it's on test now. Uh, just as they were made to light players to sustain their high damage capabilities over time, making them comparable to other advanced mechanics. The mechanic utilizes the dazed power interaction in combination with abilities in the assault tree. Uh, Spike Wake, the following uh, trade powers recover a portion of their cost if used immediately and repeatedly <coughs> excuse me, against dazed enemies. Chainsaw, Whip Thrash, Light Claws, Fan, Snap Trap, Boxing, Grasping Hands, and Hand Clap. Uh, Chompers, the following trade powers recover a portion of their cost if used immediately and repeatedly against dazed enemies. Chainsaw, Whip Thrash, Light Claws, Fan, Snap Trap, Boxing, uh, grasping hand, and hand clap. Increase the cooldown of the following abilities by one second or less to prevent triggering the power refund mechanic if you clip a power with itself. 
chainsaw, whip, thrash, like claws, band, snap, trap, boxing, grasping hands, and hand clap. So basically, basically, you know, you go from that saying, uh, you know, you go use spike quake and you go into one of those powers right there, you'll get a power back on it. And you can just basically just keep spamming one of those powers. So you can do like spike, you know, so everybody out there is a big fan, of, you know, of their, uh, you know, snap trap fan, you know, d you know, jumping around and everything. You can go back to doing it again. <laughs> and you get power back when you're doing it. <laughs> yep. I think it's to encourage the, like, theme of being able to constantly create constructs. Yeah. Which, originally, I mean, that's what Hardlight was able to do for, from the get-go. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. people never really did it. People never really did it. You used to be able to, you know, you know chain into other, uh, other construct powers. I believe you still can. But, uh, still can, but it just the damage is just not as good. Right. There so would be no point two because of weapon mastery. All right, so it's pretty much chompers and then those things. So I and use spike quake or chompers. Yep. Which you were using chompers. Yeah. Yeah, I use. I was making sure I actually had those abilities in my tray. You got to be. Yes. Oh my bad. I thought I was. There it goes. All right, choppers. Light claw. Ooh, power refund. Extra damage. Ooh, don't hit him. <laughs> oh crap! I did not mean to actually go all the way over here. Okay. Oh my god, that actually took a lot of damage. So the damage is actually pretty nice. So okay, I can dig it. And apparently, a lot of folks. For the uh, for these changes as well are kind of happy. Some people are. I I, I saw the happy post. I didn't. I wasn't able to see any of the mad posts about it because it just happened today. <laughs> but uh, it does. It just by the feel of it that I have just now, it does feel like I'm going a little faster again. Not the way it was before, but just on how much damage I'm doing with the combination. So you're literally looking at adding snap uh, spike quake and or chompers in your loadout. I would go with chompers. I mean, I think either way they do, it's a DOT. It does dot damage on both of them, right? Not just chompers? I think so. Okay. Uh, but I mean, Brittany does ask a good question. Does it actually work against AIs only, or is this PvP as well? Uh, well, see, there's a lot of changes to a lot of powers in PvP uh, that we need to get into. Yes. So, uh, I think we can answer that. And I I think it's a good time. I think that really covers all the yeah. everything else besides... <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, that was it. All right. So your Patriot, lead us on into glory. All right. Uh, PvP Season 3, it is here. You know, everybody, you guys got to see what the uh, Nightwing set looks like. If Vagrant, you know, didn't have um, his head up his colon, you know, maybe we'd get to see the Hush styles, but oh well. Um, I mean, Trex can show it. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, it's not my it. fault that I found a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, so uh, PvP, the new season's here. Uh, what are we getting with it? Alright, first off, general stuff here right here. Obviously, you know, we got a new set of gear. Uh, yes, it is expensive. Yes, they did raise the uh, mark cap. Uh, the mark cap uh, is currently uh, 62.50 right now on test, so we can look forward to that um, when uh, it goes live. When, we don't know. But, uh, right now, yeah, the, the mark cap is going to be raised up to 62.50. Uh, the uh, current, uh, the 100 gear as uh, we call it, the gear just above Elemental Android. You're looking at costs involving for the chest, uh, legs, uh, let's see, the head. Um, that's going to be 5,000 each right there. Weapon is also 5,000. Um, your shoulders are four. Your hands, waist, and feet are 3,000 each. And then, of course, you have to get your uh, face piece, which is 1,000, along with your neck being 2,000. And rings are fifteen hundred each. Now, keep in mind, everybody out there. All right. Also, yeah, and your um, your trinket is uh, let me get to it. Your trinket is going to cost you two thousand. 
or, of valor. Now, keep in mind, folks. All right, as I have pointed out in my you know very detailed, two very detailed uh, uh, PVP CR videos. All right, you have to have the full set of gear. All right, the weapon, the neck, the face, and the trinket, and two rings. Two rings. All right, in order for your combat rating to go up, in order to get the next set of gear. Can I ask a question real fast? Through. Yes, go ahead. Um, when can PV when can PVE get that? <laughs> what that restriction on gear? Yes. There's already a that would be nice. On, uh, there's, there's already a there's already a uh, restriction on you need to have a certain CR in order to get. Yeah, but you, the it next, doesn't make uh, you buy the full set. Yeah, I want to buy the full set before I move on to the next one. Ah. I want that. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get that until they stop. The, I don't think you're gonna get that until they stop uh, dropping gear and content. Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's legit. <laughs> uh, also, keep in mind, folks, uh, because of the changes to PvP, all right, there is no longer a utility belt. We cannot take consumables or any PVE, any type of anything that's PVE related into arenas with us anymore. So you cannot take in any PVE trinkets, stuff like that. So there's no utility belt. We're back to old school PVP, but like beforehand of Fate PVP, Legends PVP is kind of, which is kind of cool. Which is kind of cool. I'm talking about arenas though. I mean, everybody's used to that with with Legends and all that. You know, it's been a long time since you know. I mean, it's been almost two years since people have PVP'd with without it's utility. Been a belt. long time. Well, unless it's an arranged match. Or something like that. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's gonna be good times. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. There's also a new uh, Soda Cola Infinite. All right, this is basically this is gonna replace the sodas that you have to take in. This is gonna replace your limes. I promise you that. This is gonna replace your limes. You're gonna take these into arenas with you. It's gonna work exactly the same way that a uh, um, the soda works in Legends. Uh, the current stats. For the Soda Cola Infinite, all right, uh, is um, seven. See, health back of seven six seventy six forty four to eighty four forty nine health back, and ten sixty three to eleven seventy five power back to yourself. All right, it's only usable in PvP arenas. Uh, restore your health and power. Um, the it's bottomless. All right, so this is actually going to save people money on making limes, making sodas for arenas. So I think this is a kind of a cool thing too. Um, let's see here. Uh, the sockets for your PvP gear, right? The sockets are, they are, the, first off, right, it's only one set of gear. There's no healer gear, troll gear, tank gear anymore. It's all just, it's roll agnostic gear. Uh, so, that being said, so are the sockets for them. You can still socket your gear with mods, with uh, R&D mods. Um, right now, so there's uh, synthetic um, sixes right now on the test server. I don't know if those are going to be available or not when it goes live. I'm assuming so. Um, but the uh, sockets are, roll ag are are agnostic as well. They're they're called prismatic sockets. So basically, you can put any color you want to in there. It's like you know, I got this gear set up right now. I've got nothing but precision sixes thrown in here, just to test stuff out. Um, you are curious what the stats are for a uh, full set of gear with precision sixes and all the mods. Um, let's see, I'm sitting at 25, 424 health, 3607 power, uh, 57, 78 might, uh, precision is 26, 14. All right, this is in uh, DPS stance. And uh, toughness is 11, 452. Now, from my understanding, at least hearing some of the grumblings I've seen on the uh, test server, right, uh, might powers are basically kind of nerfed in arenas right now, and we're going to get into that all right, with these notes right here. Uh, first off, for starters, gadgets. Uh, intimidation no longer stuns bosses or other players in PvP arenas. Sorry, gadgets. Uh, <laughs> Uh, see, damage over time in PvP. Please note, these changes only affect player versus player combat. All right? This is all just in PvP arenas. All right? This is just in arenas, mind you. I don't know if this actually uh, 
it holds true for duels, dueling, or open world, but as far as I know, this is just for arenas. Um, Non-field DOT damage durations longer than 5 seconds have been reduced to 5 seconds when used against players. Uh, see, location-based area effect damage over time effects such as fields and auras have had their damage reduced and normalized as if they were 5 seconds in duration when used against players. Passive damage effects such as damage reflection and automatic damage from weapon buffs have also been normalized in the same manner when used against players. So... This might be open world in Dueling 2. I'm not. I'm not positive because I mean they're not specific on that. Uh, as we all know, you know they uh, they capped the crits in arenas a while back and everything, but they didn't do it for open world. So I don't know if uh, these changes uh, pertain to open world as well. Uh, the affected abilities uh, for all, for all this are as follows: uh, for Legends, Smoke Cloud, Blood Curse, Poison Slash, and Racer Deflection. Uh, iconic powers, uh, Amazonian Deflection, Heat Vision, Super Speed, Phase Dodge, uh, Celestial, Divine Light, Corrupted Divine Light, Corrupted Retribution, Corrupted Wrath Presence, Blight, Cleansed, Blight, uh, Cursed, Cleansed, Curse, Malediction, Cleansed, Malediction, Plague, Cleansed, Plague, Cursed Idol. Earth, debris field, and totem. Hey, uh, you know, let's let's this. let's skip this. They can well, read that's that. A, it's a long list. God, long yeah. List. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, there's there's a long list. It's on the test forms. You know, go check it out. Uh, let's see here, PVP counter rolls. Right, the counter roll mechanic. You know, they they put it in quotations here. The counter roll mechanic in PVP, for example, controllers being healers, has been removed because of this. The confidence damage buff is no longer applied, and roll specific debuffs have been removed. Uh, so now, right now, the only the way you, the only people that can uh, debuff anybody is the controller. So, like I said, it's back to old school. Um, uh, one second, Jay Recon uh, says in chat: the PVP trinkets are disabled in PVP phase open world. Yes, I was going to get to that. Okay, I was going to get to. <laughs> oh, oh, and by the way, I'm heading to the Superman statue right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here for uh, PVP counter rolls, the uh, most specific buffs um, in regards to uh, you know your movement mode debuffs. You know for aggro, flight, and super speed, the debuffs have been removed from those movement types. So you can't even uh, movement mode debuff anybody anymore. Which I you know I mean everybody didn't like it. I mean I thought it balanced out one v ones for the DPSs out there, but eh, whatever. Um, that's it for that. Hold on a second here. I gotta. Every time I want to look, scroll down here. Uh, see so here. Damage prevention in PvP. Here we go. This is like the meat of it right here. Uh, normal shielding effects now reduce damage by 25% instead of 100% in PvP arenas. All right. This affects the following abilities. Blessing. All right. There's a lot of abilities there. So you just got. <laughs> basically, it's all your shield. Basically, it's all of your shielding abilities and your uh, powers like Grandeur and Quantum Tunneling and uh, Distract. But yeah, okay, well, Blessing, Corrupted Blessing, Gemstone Shield, Neural Neutralizer, Reflect, uh, Reflection, Winter Ward, Bitter Winds, Shadow Restraints, Hard Light Shield, Light Barrier, Grandeur. Basically, you know, all you guys out there have been running with like multiple shields and all that, your shields aren't going to be helping you as much as they used to, right? Which this and this makes up for us not have, not being able to you know debuff those shields and remove them. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the following supercharge abilities have also had their damage prevention effects reduced to twenty five percent. Consecrated ground, sacrifice, group transducer, and ice elemental. Uh, keep in mind, folks, this is all PvP. All right, none of this stuff has been touched for PvE. It's all just PvP. Uh, PvP and gear, like I said before, you know that PvE gear is now disabled in arenas. Uh, only PvP gear may be used in PvP arenas. Now, to get what uh, was uh, mentioned before about the uh, trinket and the soda, all right, the, the soda you can only use in arenas. Uh, the same thing goes for the trinket; it's disabled. So, back w earlier when I said you know there there wasn't really a use for the PvE breakout trinket. 
if you're out in open world, guess what? <laughs> now you've got a reason to have that trinket. <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is the tier one one, it only costs thirty nine marks to triumph. So go get so go buy one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I visited the Superman statue. Right? <laughs> Alright. So go ahead That's and That's the hush. You, you couldn't do it on, like, a striker, you know, tune with a normal stance. I'm sorry. You, I didn't and, expect and him to be a model. You've got, like, and you've got, like, the... Are you looking at this vagrant? He's got, like, the, you know, yeah. the uh, the create colors on... Did you even try, Trex? What do you want from me? He's not a model! <laughs> He's just a guy! He's a big, fat guy! <laughs> Of course I didn't try. I just needed to have. <laughs> I just needed to have two characters that I could put the PvP gear on, and that will be it. <laughs> if there's anybody out there who's got a villain with a normal stance, I hate right, you. <laughs> come and just show us what the. I just want to see what the trench coat looks like. Oh, okay. Here. I got you. I'm a flyer. See. I got your back. Look, he even waves behind me. Oh, I like that back. I like that backpack, man. He's got the dual pistol holsters in the back. That's kind of cool. And, and grenades. <laughs> yeah, and grenades. So freaking cool. It's I just cool. want the trench coat. You know what's awesome? I use dual pistols. So that back piece is just for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for me, guys. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you know, I mean, if you if you guys are out there, you guys. You know, you know, all the guys that hang out at Fight Club and everything like that, make sure you guys get yourselves a breakout trinket. A PvE breakout trinket. Because you'll need it for your duels. Um, let's see here. Also, uh, only PvP gear can go into the arenas. The disabled weapons will... Um, still allow, disabled weapons still allow you to attack and perform all combos you know for that weapon, but you don't gain any of the stats from a disabled weapon. So you're basically going to be hitting somebody for ones. Um, see, there's now a single set of PvP gear. I went over the PvP gear stuff. Uh, I went over to Instant Cola. Healing supercharges in PvP. Supercharge abilities that restore health and or power have been reduced in strength when used in PvP arenas. Uh, this change affects Envelop, Invigorate, Eternal Flame, Anesthetic, Battle Drone, Hibernation, Group Shielding, Bastion, Convalesce, uh, Event Horizon, Regeneration, Closed loop, infuriate, and transcendence. Uh, let's see here. Tanks in PvP. Uh, Earth, when in tank roll, using a superpower in a PvP arena increases maximum health by 1.45 health per point of dominance instead of a bonus to defense or toughness and a flat damage reduction. Wow! Yeah! Look at the aftershocks! That I did not expect. Aftershocks now reduce damage by 25% in arenas. Fire, when in tank roll, using any superpower in a PvP arena increases maximum health by 1.45 health per point of dominance and grants a 65% increase in healing received. Love it. Uh, rage, when in tank roll, uh, rage users increase maximum health by 1.45 health per point of dominance when using any superpower near an enemy instead of 2 health for every 3 dominance for each enemy. Okay. In PvP arenas, Relentless Anger and Severe Punishment now heal back 25% of damage taken rather than 100%. Boy, does it, boy does it suck now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. No, you know what was fun, though? You know what was fun, though, is was dueling raids, tanks, and DPSs, all right, and then debuffing them when they activated those powers and watching them kill themselves. Sure. Hilarious. Hilarious. Um... <laughs> Healers in PvP. A healer's healing is now strengthened by 25% in PvP arenas instead of 65%. So they nerfed the healers. Nerf yeah, the they'll healers. be fine. They'll be fine. They got this. Controllers, controllers in PvP. Controllers in PvP arenas no longer receive a vitalization increase while in PvP arenas. Oh, now, so you don't get the vit. You don't get the vit buff for being in a controller stance anymore. That's correct. Huh. Now, remember that controllers still can debuff folks, but it's up to the tanks to debuff. Yes. Which I still... It's, it's, uh, the, which, uh, the, 
give the immunities, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm still happy about that. Thank God yep. that that's yep. still the case. So you need tanks, folks, or the controllers are going to whoop you. <laughs> Which is awesome. Trying to copy me. Trying to copy me. Want the color codes, buddy? I'll give you the color codes. <laughs> oh wow all right so uh, all i know is that pvp arenas is going to be awesome because you're going to finally see people running trolls and actually be happy with running trolls and have fun running trolls <laughs> uh you want uh vigor do you want to take care of the next parts uh, sure. Yeah, we're on the advanced damage mechanics okay. in PvP. I wanted to give Super Patriot his uh, third arrest. He did a great job, as usual. <laughs> no sarcasm. Hashtag no sarcasm. <laughs> no, that's not happening, Supes. No. Why not? Because I'm me. That's why. We have, we have not done this. We have not done this since freaking home turf. Come on, let's go. I have four <laughs> abilities. <laughs> All I know is I'm so excited for this to hit. Live. Man, like, ridiculous! <laughs> All right, so go ahead and go ahead and do the advanced mechanics now. All right, so advanced damage mechanics in PvP: electric. When in damage roll in PvP arenas, electric users gain interrupt. Well, not really. It's not really a gain. It's more like suffer interrupt vulnerability when triggering the power restoration mechanic, and always when using voltaic bolt. So basically, when you're getting power back from using your rotation and using Voltaic Bolt, you'll be able to get interrupted. And that's to prevent uh, all that extra damage and dots going out, basically. So if you see an electric user and he's using Voltaic Bolt and his rotation's on you, go ahead and interrupt him. Gadgets. When in damage roll in PvP arenas, gadget users gain interruptibility when triggering the power restoration mechanic. So I'm guessing as soon as he uses Battle Display, he starts using uh, abilities that trigger power, in power interactions, then he can be interrupted. Nature. When in damage roll in PvP arenas, nature gain interruptibility when triggering the power restoration mechanic, and always when using Harvest. Hmm. I wonder if they'll do that for Light. But... No, wait, because cer certain light constructs can be blocked. Huh. Yep. No, no, the next might part. Have to do something like that for Celestial, though, but I don't know. PvP stat minimums. This is, is the killer. <laughs> PvP stat minimums. <laughs> if a player is ungeared or undergeared while in a PvP arena, any stat that doesn't meet minimum entry requirements is automatically increased to the minimum based on your current role. Minimum stat thresholds are based on wearing fully modded PvP CR96 gear and enough skill points to get the majority of the role specific stat bonuses from the 5th and 6th rows of the weapon trees. Well, dang. Cool. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, yeah, going back to what Brittany was saying, um, I, like you said, you know, maybe they do need to bring something in there for light in regards to this. And New Celestial. Advanced mechanic and everything. And Celestial, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, now, just about, every single power, just about every single Just about every single Earth aftershock is blockable. So I think Earth is pretty okay in terms of their advanced damage mechanics, quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now with the stat minimums, and, and a lot of folks were getting confused about this last night during my stream. Um, Basically, because I have no PvP gear, basically, that's how I feel about it. Uh, the way they how they make it balanced across the board is that the not the P, the fully modded PvP CR ninety six gear that is the threshold. That's the starting point. That if you do not meet CR ninety six, if you're like a CR twenty five or whatever, your stats are going to get boosted to that stat minimum that's that's the threshold so as a level as a level 15 going into your first pvp match boom your stats are going to get increased your stats are going to be cr 96 now of course if you're a cr 97 98 you don't need to worry about it you're already you're kosher 
But for everybody else like myself who do not meet that threshold, your stats will be increased when you go into an arena. So every so and for your skill points, like that's why I find confusing for that part is you will get enough skill points to get the majority of the role specific stat bonuses from the fifth and sixth rows of the weapon trees. Which weapon trees? Like all the weapon trees are like all those stats, like uh like that's Basically, that's just, just me wanting to know. Have, you would have a set amount of dominance, a set amount of might, a set amount of precision, restoration, vitalization. That's all that's saying. Yeah, for me, it's just I I, for, I just want like the specifics. It's like on all of the weapons, I'm gonna get the fifth and sixth rows, or if it's like the certain weapon, it, it, it's it's weird on how my mindset. But I'm just wanting to know because most people, some people might ask that question as well. But, I mean, the, the gear-wise, I get. The skill points, I'm just curious. But uh, I don't it, think it should bump up their skill points at all. I think skill points are something that people need to go out there and earn. No, 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 no. no. It's, I mean, well, <laughs> I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Stats. Yeah, it's just giving you the stats, really. Yeah. It's not giving you the uh, skill points. Yeah, but, but, yeah. For the record, for the record, everybody out there, all right, listening and watching, Michael Grid ducked me. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, okay, you can go hungry. You can go high, vagrant. You can go ahead. Okay. <laughs> gear. With the third season of PvP, we have created role agnostic gear. This means each piece of gear has all the relevant stats on it for every role. There's only one set of gear for each appearance, and it will be appropriate for DPS, tank, healer, and control roles. What that means is you only have to buy one set of gear, and then if you want to specifically be a healer, controller, tank, or DPS, then you just mod towards that. Yep. yep. It's like, you know, for me, for like with the DPS and everything like that, I put all precisions in there. Um... However, you know, like for a healer and all that, obviously you don't want to put restos in there, maybe resto precisions. Um, controllers, obviously, vit, maybe vit precisions. Uh, tanks, honestly, team deathmatch, I'd put all, I'd put all freaking precisions in there. Uh, if you're looking to freaking be, uh, you know, tanking nodes though and all that, uh, obviously you may want to go with dominance and health route, or dominance and precision stuff like that. Totally up to you. Yes, up to the player. I was actually going to say that uh, one of the reasons they're probably nerfing might and like having uh, less emphasis on using powers is because they're trying to make arenas like Legends. Well, I, there's there's that possibility right there. Um, but I mean, the, did you hear what did, did you hear what my might stat is? No. Okay, and this is like my my might is fifty seven seventy eight right now. That's more might. Than I have on my PVE gear. Well, I'm not wearing I'm not wearing the full, all the full epics from that vendor. But I mean, man, yeah, my precision's at 1392. Freaking toughness, dear lord. That toughness is so high. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're. I mean. I'm thinking, you know, the mic's the mic's pretty high as it is, but like you said, you know, the the, the dot nerfing everything. I mean, because like you, anybody who's been in an arena match with a uh, really good nature DPS and all that, the the it, the burst may not really be there for the nature guys, you know, uh, in, in arenas and all that. But I mean, oh my God, can they melt somebody? You know, <laughs> so. Uh, with with their dots and everything, so I think that's partially what it is. Also, you know, you gotta, you gotta look at the rage guys too. You know that rage can melt somebody down. Plus, they've got really high burst. Um, so I, I think uh, that may have been it. I mean, I know how, I, there was people talking. You know, coming out of matches uh, the first night that it dropped, and they were in the server chat, just, you know, up in arms because you know. You know, I've got only, I've got six thousand might, and my dots were only doing ninety ticks, and for like three seconds. And I'm like, well, that's you know, it's one that's in the notes, and two, you know, 
I don't know. I don't know about everybody else out there. Arenas has always been more of a, you know, PvP has always been more of a precision-based, you know, burst damage uh, thing out there. You, know, you don't really see a lot of people using these advanced mechanics in PvP, except for maybe, you know, the, the people who are suckering others into dueling uh, them when they're gadgets and they're hitting uh, distracting EMP <laughs> in their <laughs> PvE gear. <laughs> have you seen that? Have you seen those videos? Yeah. Yeah. Man, oh my god, that's horrible. That's horrible. How can you even consider that fighting somebody? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and did we say the rewards yet? Nope. For right. Season 3 of PvP, we have updated the rewards for winning and losing a PvP arena. They are as follows. For winning an arena or legends match, you get 200 marks of valor and 2 marks of legend. So, when you win an, when you win an arena match, you get marks of legends now, correct? Mm -hmm. As well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is good. That's, which is awesome. Yes. So now you can basically PvP how you want. And then the last one is a chance to roll on a large list of items containing PvP task items and base items and the exceptional recovery kit. Now, I don't really understand that one, what it means by a chance to roll on a large list of uh, items. I'm, guess, I'm guessing there's a possible, you know, like, loot. You know, you can, you know, roll for you get one or the other. I'm guessing. This I don't sounds, know. Like I haven't... Machine, though, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I don't know because I haven't... One in arena, so I don't know. <laughs> but it, it, like, need like I said, it for an like arena. Need a queue. Need a queue up for an arena first before you can win one. I was queuing up. <laughs> the queues were long, but I went in and got destroyed. Uh, the loss. The loss reward is still uh, is a hundred marks of valor and one mark of legend. Well, I think it's one mark of legend. I remember I got a hundred uh, marks high. of valor. Pretty high. You, you want to bump oh, it down actually, to fifty? Actually, answered my own question about light and PVP. You saw it down there. Yeah, uh, while in yeah, damage, while in PVP I, I, I arenas, triggering consecutive power refunds in PVP zone will trigger block or interrupt vulnerability. There you go. There you go, Brad. Well, cool. What about here. Celestial, though? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not there yet. <laughs> uh, but then, uh, to kind of end ourselves out with this, a uh, new update came in today. Survival Mode Trigon's Prison is now on PC test. And... Is there a portal to walk in there? I just want to see it. You just want to see it? <laughs> well, appar well, apparently it's the last room of Trigon's prison. Uh, woo. Yeah, that's small. <laughs> Is Trigon in it? I don't know. Guess we're going to find out. Uh, so, yes, for Trigon's prison survival mode, second installment. This time is hell. Big caps. Uh, so... Uh, we get a second chance to dethrone the Sweet 16 from uh, Survival uh, Owen Science Cells. Nice. Uh, so, for this one, new season, new awesome, Trigon themed shirts for rounds 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. New Trigon themed base items, so I'm perfect for your league hall. Oh, Trigon is not in this prison room. Darn it. Uh. There are 20 rounds total. New unique rewards for rounds 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. And speaking of the shirts, if you haven't seen it yet, we got right here with uh, Test 65. That is one of the shirts from, from, uh, from rounds 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. These are one of the shirts. Looks nice. Very nice, Test 65. The requirements... Eight players, combat rating, 106. So you need to have 106. Um, and then... Yeah, yeah, and then that's uh, some other stuff for pretty much bug fixes. 
Now, one other, uh, someone actually also had questions about this as well. Is that the um the penguin gunbrella trinket? The umbrella for the trinket should now be visible. What the hell is that? That's from like launch. I think that's like a Facebook thing. That's it right. It was. It, that's that's right. That's right. Because what you what was what did you get from the collector's edition? You got that Gotham blimp, right? Yeah, you got the like Joker blimp. Um, for pre-ordering, you had like a choice of getting like Catwoman's claws or like Ra's al Ghul's sword, stuff like that. The Penguin's umbrella gun. Okay. Silly little trinkets. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, it was stuff from there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the rest of it's just like a couple of bug stuff that we can probably touch on another time. Uh, but yeah, so how we feel about Game Update Forty One? What we see on test right now? So your Patriot. I'm excited. I'm excited. Can't wait. Want it now. <laughs> it's so. definitely gonna hold us over until DLC Twelve. You if think? It gets some of my league, if it gets some of my league mates off freaking Destiny, I'll be ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> What's awesome though is that these these updates are finally showing promise of like new content almost in every update now, which is awesome. We haven't seen updates like that since Game Update Nine. Okay. True. 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 That was the. I think that was the last game update that was specifically like, oh, here's brand new content. Now let's say that Trigon's Prison isn't exactly brand new content, well, but we are keep seeing. Him, keep like, in mind. Keep in mind too that at the time, uh, update nine, um, the game wasn't free to play yet. That's think. true. Was it? I don't think it was. The, I think it was because that was near December. Game update nine. Game update nine came right before Lightning Strikes. Ah, actually, apparently you need to get on your controller here soon. Uh, how do you know that? Oh, you're looking at that you're chat. Being you're being voluntold. I wait. I'm being told in game. You're being told in game. I am heading. Oh crap. Um. Uh. <laughs> Let's go it on. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to... I don't know if we're doing it on Hero or Villain, because my Quantum Controller is a villain. Hero. It's Hero? Yeah. Crap! I got... I suck at gadgets. Well, I'm not doing light controlling, so I'm going to... I guess... Oh, man. This is going to... Well... It's test server. I'll do whatever I need. So let's go ahead and end this real fast. Then uh, you can find the DCO Sourcecast over on the social media at Facebook and Twitter. Just look up DCO Sourcecast or DCO Source Podcast. Either way, you're gonna find us. You can also find all of the past episodes either on iTunes or over at trekslightcom backslash podcast backslash DCO Sourcecast <laughs> or well forward slash whatever forward slash I am so sorry forward slash. <laughs> whatever <laughs> uh, Super Patriot where can we find you you can of course find me at youtube.com slash the daddy's house you can find me Facebook the daddy's house the Twitter at the daddy's house I'm also on the Twitch the daddy's house there as well Adrian where can we find you you can find me at a whole bunch of confusing places on YouTube slash the alpha tester you can find me on Facebook as Vagrant Game. You can find me on Twitch, Vagrant Gaming. You can find me on Twitter, Vagrant underscore Gaming. A whole bunch of confusing little tidbits because Vagrant Gaming was taken in many accounts. <laughs> Sorry about that. Trex. Uh, you can, of course, find me over on my YouTube channel over at uh, back, uh, forward slash Trexlight and on the Facebook forward slash Trexlight and on my website at Trexlight.com. But you can especially especially find me over on the Twitter at Why This Is Trex. Creepy? Because I'm a creepy guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I roll. I'm a creepy dude. Anyway. I'm creeptastic. <laughs> Whatever. It's okay. So, uh, once again, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week right after 
the uh, DCO FNL will be back here on twitch.tv backslash trekslight for another DCO Sourcecast. Yay! So much fun! So, we will see you guys next week. Good night, everybody. Good night. Did Vagrant say good night? I don't know if he did or not. He, it's, it's all <laughs> silent now. I know! <laughs> Background noise. Um, Vagrant mimes it to me. Good night.